as we join together for our children's message today. Uh, I invite anybody participating with us online to be able to have a seat on the floor uh, in front of the TV or computer or tablet or however you're able to participate with worship in our children's message today. So today in worship, uh, we're especially getting to hear about how God called Samuel. Samuel is one of the famous prophets in the Old Testament and how God called him and especially called him when he was a little boy to have him serve God. So for us today, let me ask you, who are some types of people or people that you think of that God calls to serve him or to work for him? Who do you think serves or works for God? Pastors. Like missionaries. Yeah, like pastors and Christians or missionaries. Yeah. And so when we think about people working for a God that God calls to serve him, we oftentimes think of, well, pastors, um, whose job it is, is to be able to share God's word with us, um, or missionaries who travel around, um, sometimes travel around to faraway countries to be able to tell people about Jesus and God's love for them. Um, and so those are some types of people that we usually think of when we hear about people who serve God or work for him. Um, but you're right. You can also say that Christians, that God calls all of us. He calls every Christian to be able to serve him. That means you and me. That means every single one of us gets called by God to serve him. And so with Samuel, he was just a, he was just a little boy when God called him. He didn't have to be a big grown-up adult with uh, uh, fancy college degrees or any of that kind of stuff. He was a boy when God called him to be able to serve him. Now for us today, I don't know about you, but do we hear God talk to us at night like he did with Samuel? No, I don't know about you, but I don't hear God talk to me at night. And that's okay with me because that might, that might scare me. That might frighten me. It'll probably catch me off guard and surprise me if I wasn't hear God talking. It'd be really cool, but I would be surprised. And so with Samuel, God started talking to him at night and called him to be able to come and serve him. For us, even though God doesn't talk to us that way, God talks to us through the Bible, that God shares his word with us, and that God calls us when we're baptized. When we get baptized, we get to be one of God's children, that he calls us and he loves us, and we get to serve him. Well, Samuel went around and traveled around and told all sorts of people about God. For us, God also calls us that we get to tell people about God. Maybe it's people in our own family. Maybe it's some of our friends. Maybe it's somebody that we live by or a neighbor that uh, we get the wonderful chance to tell them that Jesus loves you. And that God takes care of us. And God is here for us every day. So we get to serve God like Samuel did, even when he was called as a little boy. And because we get to serve God, we also get to talk to him. We can pray with him. So let's do that. Let's hold out our hands. Wiggle those fingers. All right, up top, down into our laps. We'll fold our hands, close our eyes, and repeat after me. Dear God. Dear God, thank you so much, thank you so much for, calling me for calling me and for letting me, and for letting me serve, you. serve you. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, let's wave bye-bye to our friends. Bye.